the Samsung S3 Guru here to talk about apps, uh, specifically the way that you interact with the apps as far as um, the, the views and things of that nature. So let's just actually go ahead and go into apps. So when we go into apps, uh, as you can see, we can scroll through these, okay, one page at a time. Um, but you can also put your finger down the bottom and slide this back and forth. And what this does is, it, as you can see, that I happen to have eight pages, so it actually shows me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there's another thing you can do, which is just do a pinch, and then you can see all of your pages. And so if you have like a, a good idea as to where, uh, you know, for example, if I'm looking for YouTube, I know it's going to be near the end. So there I go, there I am, I'm at YouTube, as opposed to scrolling. So you can do any one of these things to uh, get where you're going. Now, let's talk about the actual layout of the icons themselves. As you know, uh, the way it normally lays out is in this alphabetical uh, customized view. However, you can, I'm sorry, it's alphabetical view. You can actually go in and customize that. If you go in uh, to settings, you'll see that you have view type. And if you click on view type, you have three different types. You have a customizable grid, an alphabetical grid, and an alphabetical list. Let's take a look at the list first. This is my least favorite, but some people like it. And this is literally a list of all of your apps. And it also has the little, I like that, the old phone book style here where you can just pull down to the bottom. So again, if you know you're looking for YouTube, you can pull down to the Y and the YouTube should show up. So that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is the customizing, uh, customized grid. And this is where you can put wherever you want, wherever you want them. And I actually like this because um, I try to put all of my, let me show my on that. I try to put all of my uh, favorite apps, yeah, there we go. I try to put all my favorite apps together so when I pull up my apps, they're right there. They don't have to be in alphabetical order. I just need to know where they are. Now, once you have it in this view, the way that you customize it is, so you have to go and customize grid first, then you go into settings, and then you go into edit, and now I can move these around however I want. Okay, let's just take and put two orange things together here. Okay, and I click save, and it'll stay like that. So they don't have to be in alphabetical order. They can be in order I want. If I wanted to move them from screen to screen, I would simply just push my finger and hold it and drag it from one to the other. The other nice thing is, is that you can actually keep this view and go back and forth. So for example, I can go to view type and I can go back to alphabetical list and now everything's back in alphabetical order. But then I say, okay, you know what? I want my customized view. I can go back to my customized view and there we go. Our two pieces are in order. Now, the other thing that happens a lot of times is, is that you may have apps that uh, an ice cream sandwich you can delete some apps, I'm sorry, not delete them, but you can disable them so that you don't see them. Uh, however, on some of these, uh, I found on the, um, the S3, there's actually some apps that I don't want to see uh, and I cannot disable them. So there's a nice view, there's a nice trick for that. So we're going to go down to settings again and we're going to go to hide applications. And when you go and hide applications, what you're allowed to do is check off a box and whichever box you check off, that app will be hidden. So for example, let's just see, okay, let's just say uh, I'm in Europe and you know what, I don't need to see my Verizon Mobile and I don't need to see my Verizon Hotspot. So I'm going to check those two, I'm going to click done, and those have now been taken out of my list. Okay. If I want to put them back or if I want to see the ones that I have hidden, I can go to show hidden um, applications and as you can see I've got a couple, for example, Evernote uh, has a, an extra widget but you can't actually use that widget from the app drawer. So there's no point in having the, the widget there. Um, uh, the Flash, once you set Flash once, there's no need to go back into it. There's, you don't need to have that there. Uh, as suggest, which is their thing of saying, hey, these are a program. I don't myself use it. You might like it. I don't use it. And the setup wizard, once I run it once, I don't need to run it again. I can't disable it. I can't get rid of it. I don't want to hit it accidentally. So I've gone in and I've hidden those. If I want to make any of these come back, all I do is click on their boxes, and bing, 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 they show back up. Where are they? He's in here somewhere. There they are. Okay. And again, because I'm in the customizable view, they end up on the end, not at the beginning because we're not in alphabetical. If I go to alphabetical, they'll go back in alphabetical order. So that's um, a quick look at all the neat things you can do as far as manipulating how you can get at your apps. We encourage you to sign up for our videos. Also check out www.thesamsungs3guru.com as well as we are very happy to, to have our new uh, app which you can find in the Google Play Store. So if you go to the Google Play Store and say S3 Guru or Samsung Guru, you'll be able to get this app. And what this app does is it has all of this good stuff plus anything else. As soon as I find out, you'll find out all that stuff is packed into this one little app 
that you can refer to. Uh, I'm scouring the web all day long looking for good stuff and I'm going to put it in there so that you don't have to so you'll know one place that it is. So that's uh, the latest and greatest from the Samsung S3 Guru.